Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is an LSD screen, uh, LCD screen, liquid crystal display screen, display screen. <laughs> uh, that's about as funny as a hot water heater. You can see that this particular monitor is a little brighter than this monitor. They're the same ones, but I've got the brightness settings pumped up as high as they can go for this one and as low as they can go for this one. Uh, now, we had a question uh, come in a little earlier in the chat room from a user known as Ert. E-A-R-T, says, Chris, I'm noticing some 17-inch laptop screens appear very washy and grainy, not like my 14-inch HP laptop. Is this normal? Well, uh, those 17-inch screens, uh, if they're washy and grainy, could be crappy, and in which case, yeah, that's normal for crappy screens. Uh, now, if the 17-inch screens have been around for a few years, uh, the lamp may have decreased in effectiveness, and it's not going to be as bright as it was when it was first manufactured. And, and when that happens, uh, the images or the screen overall tends to be imbalanced in terms of brightness, as well as not as bright as it used to be when, again, it was first born into this world. Uh, and that's usually what happens. The contrast is decreased. It's not as bright. Uh, in some cases, as is the case for one of Ponzi's monitors downstairs in LCD, uh, she's got, a, in one of the corners, uh, not only burn-in has happened in, L in this LCD, uh, but it's also kind of weird, like, it's, uh, it's not exactly, uh, how can I explain it? It looks like someone smeared gel in a certain corner of her screen. It's just normal. The, the screen is at least, one, two, three, four, five, five years old. Uh, and certainly seen its fair share of pixels floating across it in that amount of time. Uh, a 17-inch LCD is not going to be different from a 14-inch necessarily. Uh, chances are different manufacturer, different lamp, um, different type of laptop environment. And of course, uh, you know, the, the life of a screen largely depends on, on what you're doing with it. Most people run screen savers when they don't have anything happening or they walk away from their desk. I don't really do that so much anymore, largely because I know that I'm going to save the life of uh, an LCD in terms of lengthening its life if I don't run anything on it or run less on the LCD. And certainly, if you're like me and have owned a couple of LCDs in the past, you'll notice that the older ones tend to have burned in images with wallpaper or icons that don't tend to move around. Uh, what was that? Oh, you have to pardon me. Hang on. Hang on. Windows Vista is doing something here. Even though I'm not touching it at all, it's disconnecting and reconnecting USB devices at random here. Has nothing to do with LCD. I think it goes back to trying to interface it with an LSD monitor a little earlier, and apparently Vista is not compatible with LSD monitors. Yeah, uh, you know, 17-inch laptops really haven't been around uh, for all that long, so I can't really attribute it to age. It could just be maybe even on the laptop itself, you haven't tweaked the brightness settings because, as I said, each monitor screen uh, likely has a brightness toggle. I mean, laptops, I know, certainly do uh, have a hardware key that's tied into the brightness of the monitor. Um, I don't know. Um, it's difficult to say. Uh, really, it's kind of like comparing apples to... Well, some cases apples or apples to oranges. Uh, you know, the LCD is certainly something I would recommend over a CRT, not only for the crispness of the image, but certainly because of the longevity of the, the image quality overall. I say in, in terms of what kind of LCD you should buy, well, get as much as you can afford. Certainly a higher screen resolution. Higher, I'm on LSD. Uh, higher screen resolution is going to serve you better, and that comes down to if you go into the chat room, type is type in. Gosh, I'm just. I, I better end this real quick here. What is Mac? It'll respond with uh, not only the information about my 15-inch LED backlit MacBook Pro, sponsored by Legit, but also my 17-inch MacBook Pro, sponsored by Blue Sky Factory, in relation to my GNOME Dex conference. And I can tell you, between the two, even though the LCD on the MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro 15 inch. All right, does anybody have any LSD here that they can really give me? Because I'm already talking like I'm, I'm crazy here. Uh, so uh, anyway, what I was gonna say, or what I was trying to say before I tripped over more of my words, and yeah, I know, keep going, keep going. Thanks, Protocol. You just love watching a train wreck, don't you? Uh, even though the screen on the 15 inch is much brighter and nicer uh, because of the new technology, 
Uh, I happen to like the 17-inch MacBook Pro just because I enjoy that screen resolution, uh, even though maybe the LCD in and of itself may not last as long as the 15-inch. I also have to have a matte 17 inch versus the glossy 15 inch and we'll go into the matte versus glossy argument another day in time when I'm not sounding like I'm completely tripped out on some kind of drug known as the internet that's right I'm addicted to you and your emails and your questions and even though I may not be able to answer them all you can certainly uh, email them to me chris at perillo.com leave a follow-up response or mark whatnot which LCD manufacturers you happen to enjoy over the others uh, maybe you have a, a few tips or tricks on how to save or uh, make that LCD last a little longer than the average LCD. Certainly looking for recommendations and tips and tricks and whatnot. And of course, you're welcome to swing by the chat room anytime, day or night. If I happen to miss your question because I'm busy, hopefully one of the ops or someone will be able to catch that question. Maybe it's already been asked and answered. You're certainly welcome to browse through the archives at media.perillo.com. And if you want to know where the chat room is, uh, well, just listen to protocol or Sarge, or Joker, or C Peanut G, or Uncle John. It's live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.